Now to a CBS News New York investigation. A nursing director at a New York nursing home company says she lost her job after sounding the alarm about practices she says were dangerous. She says administrators put patients at risk by discouraging her from sending them to the hospital. Investigative reporter Tim McNicholas joins us now with details. And Tim, this is not the first time that you've reported on this company. That's right. Last summer, the New York Attorney General sued the center's health care network, which includes dozens of nursing homes from upstate to New York City. And now a former employee says the company tried to sweep problems under the rug to avoid further scrutiny. A banner outside reminds people heroes work here at the Troy Center Nursing Home. But former nursing director Sherry Reppenhagen says her bosses treated her more like a villain after she complained to them about holes in the ceiling, insect infestations in residents' rooms, and patient care. They would give me wrath about it all the time, but I think they knew that I wasn't going to back down. Reppenhagen says she pushed back the most when she says administrators discouraged nurses from calling 911 for patients in need. She says she wanted to send a patient to the hospital last year, and the medical director instead told her to wait an hour and reassess. I hung up and went and reassessed the patient immediately and called 911. So you just went ahead and did it on your own? Yeah. If you had waited an hour, what kind of situation might that have put the patient in? Possible death. And then there's this picture of a slide from a presentation titled $10,000 for Top Administrator and Director of Nursing. She says the Troy Center's administrator at the time texted a tour in June of 2023 and wrote, If we improve our hospitalizations the most from all facilities, we can win 10 k each. It was disgusting and it wasn't going to happen at our facility, not while I was there. I wasn't going to make that a reason to not send people to the hospital. The Bronx-based Center's Healthcare Company oversees the Troy Center upstate and dozens of other nursing homes across New York and New Jersey, including the Martin Center in White Plains, where Albert Dunn moved after he suffered a stroke in 2019, and where his daughter, Marie Dunn, says she noticed Albert looked extremely ill in 2021, so she says she urged a nurse to call an ambulance. Surprisingly, they were telling me no. Because literally they're saying, oh, well, they just gave him some, they started him on a round of antibiotics and he should be okay. Marie says after she threatened to call the police, her dad was taken to the hospital, where medical records show he died four days later from respiratory failure. Common sense could tell you, and also as a medical profession, you should know that this man needed to go into the hospital to get the medical attention that he needed. CBS News New York first told Dunn's story last year. This is a notice to all nursing home operators and owners. When a lawsuit from Attorney General Letitia James accused Centers Health Care of an $83 million fraud scheme. The company says it will not comment on ongoing litigation, but it denies the AG's allegations and is committed to patient care. Centers also denies Reppenhagen's claims, which are included in a lawsuit filed last month by her attorney. People could die and be seriously injured by this policy, and that's why we're calling on them to end it today. Reppenhagen's lawsuit accuses the Troy Center of using so-called soft files for some patient issues or unofficial records that are not uploaded to residents' files to avoid liability. She believes centers wanted to limit hospitalizations for similar reasons to avoid further scrutiny from regulators. This is Nurses Week. She says she often organized team bonding activities to try to raise plummeting morale. Nonetheless, she says centers fired her in January after three years with the company. I valued the work that I did and how much care I put into what I did. Um, I lived and breathed my job. Honestly, I feel like I hope this interview makes one person get a bath. <laughs> That's all I keep saying. Like, that if it helps one person there. Reppin Hagen says the company never explained why they fired her, but in her lawsuit, she claims it was retaliation because of the problems she complained about. Christina Maurice. All right, Tim, it's really shocking information there. Sure. Thank you for that. If you have a story for our investigative team, please email CBS2Investigates at CBS.com, or you can call the tip line there on the number on your screen.